everyone. I'm Mekha Kalia, a PhD candidate at the University of British Columbia, Vancouver. And I'm going to present a work related to preclinical evaluation of an augmented reality guidance system for robot-assisted radical prostatectomy. This is a collaborative work between the robotics and control lab at UBC and the Technical University of Munich. Radical prostatectomy is a procedure where whole cancerous prostate is removed from the body. Nowadays, most of the surgeries in North America are done with Da Vinci surgical robots. To start with, let's look at the goals of a radical prostatectomy. The primary goal is the removal of the cancerous prostate, while the secondary goal is to preserve the encapsulating proximal structures responsible for sexual function and continence. In the endoscope, the cam uh, in the endoscope camera image, the anatomical boundaries between these structures and the cancer regions are not visible. This leads to significant rates of incomplete cancer removal, incontinence, and impotency. Therefore, for real-time guidance of the tumor location and the anatomical boundaries in our lab, we developed an intraoperative system for radical prostatectomy. In the system, first the preoperative MRI is registered to the intraoperative transrectal ultrasound or truss. Then, the MR volume is brought from the truss to the robot coordinate frame. The video on your right is the result of these calibrations. The top view is the endoscope view, and the bottom view shows the MRI and transrectal ultrasound of the prostate. Since the MRI is in robot coordinate system, the surgeon can select the transverse MRI in real time using the Vinci surgical tooltip and can estimate the cancer locations as can be seen in the bottom view. Although the surgeons find the system useful, it has a few shortcomings. First, there is no true surface information. Thus, there isn't any direct correspondence between the different views. The only correspondence can be drawn by using the surgical instrument. Second, the rendering of multimodal information in different windows divides attention during surgery. Here, an augmented reality view can provide a true solution by overlaying the medical information on the endoscope view in a single window. This video is the latest result where we overlaid the mesh generated from the MRI and the MRI plane on the prostate phantom. The phantom is visible in blue here. The MR plane can be selected using the surgical instrument in real time. Our current AR system consists of a series of markerless calibrations where in the current work we propose a method to transform the medical data from the endoscope coordinate system to the camera image coordinate system in a single step. Now let's look at the solutions proposed by other groups to transform the medical imaging data to the endoscope camera coordinate system. Abedar and Edgar Metal proposed methods to display ultrasound imaging data into robots camera coordinate system. Although useful, one common problem with both these methods is that they utilize external calibration markers, which can complicate the surgical procedure and it breaks the current surgical workflow. Therefore, in the past, we proposed a markerless camera and hand-eye calibration method. The method required preparation of a lookup table for the camera parameters before surgery. And the camera parameters can be retrieved during surgery. For hand-eye, our method collected a few high error points interactively during surgery. Although the method simplifies the calibration procedure, the preparation of a lookup table before every surgery is time-consuming. Moreover, the interactive data collection is dependent on the surgeon's depth perception, which can be error-prone. To summarize, previous methods either require external calibration objects or are time-consuming to perform. With the proposed work, we aim to address both these issues. In a nutshell, our main contributions are twofold. First, we present a single step joint camera and hand eye calibration method, which is markerless and fits into the surgical workflow. The method can be re estimated in less than 30 seconds if the camera focus changes at any time during surgery. We conducted an overall system evaluation where we converted the data from 3D trust to the 2D camera image coordinate system. Uh, we did this through real and simulation experiments. Now our methods. Out of a series of calibrations, the first calibration is from truss to the Vinci-based robot coordinate system. To collect data during surgery, a surgeon palpates at the surface of the prostate using a surgical instrument. 
The moving tip can be seen in the trust image and the corresponding robot points are obtained from the robot's API. Using these corresponding points, a least square method estimates the transformation. The second transformation is from the robot's base to the endoscope or ECM and can easily be obtained from the robot's forward kinematics data. Then the final transformation is from the 3D endoscope to, to the 2D camera image coordinate system. And this is our main contribution. Its estimation has two components, corresponding point detection in robot and camera image coordinate system, and second, an optimization algorithm to find the transformation. Let's look at these components one by one. To find the corresponding points, we used a part of the method and open source software provided by Yale et al. A CAD model of the surgical instrument was rendered in the virtual world using the kinematics data from the robot and a pre-operative camera calibration matrix. Please note here that the camera calibration matrix does not correspond to the true camera calibration matrix. We determined empirically that the pre-operative camera intrinsic matrix does not change drastically due to physical constraints of the endoscope. And that's why in these views, uh, the, the pose of the instruments are still similar. similar. Between these uh, virtual and real instrument images, predetermined landmarks are detected by template matching by using a feature detector. These predetermined points are visible on the virtual image. And as can be seen in the videos, these points can be collected by simply moving the surgical instrument in the surgical field of view very quickly. Thus, it can be done at any time during surgery. Now, after feature detection, we estimated the camera projection matrix, which is a projective transformation between the endoscope world and the camera image. And it is denoted here as M. We minimize the reprojection error where U denotes the camera points, and this term denotes the transformed endoscope points to the image coordinate system. To handle the noise in the image and robotic points, we also parameterized the data points similar to the problem of bundle adjustment. It is given by these terms here. An initial estimate of M is obtained by a closed form and well-known method known as static linear transform using the solution of VLP. The levenberg marquardt algorithm was initialized to reach the optimal solution. We also showed in the paper that M can easily be re-estimated after the camera focus has been changed during the surgery. For this, we place the surgical instrument at three depths and each time change the camera focus to get the sharp instrument image. Every time, the camera projection matrix was estimated in less than 30 seconds. And these are the visual results. Each time, we touch the checkerboard corners with the surgical instrument, thus getting the corners in endoscope coordinate frame. Then these are reprojected to the image using the estimated M. In all these images, the green points are the ground truth corners and the red are the reprojected robot points. Now the evaluation experiments. To estimate the overall system error from the trust to the camera image coordinate system, we did a water bath experiment. We placed a nylon wire mesh in water bath and placed truss probe in endoscope in such a way that the crossfire points are visible in both the truss and the endoscope camera images. To collect more data points, we placed mesh in various configurations. Ground truth points are the white crossfire points visible in the endoscope camera image here, which we segmented manually. We perform the sequence of calibrations mentioned before and transform the truss crossfire points to the camera image. The projected transformed truss points can be seen in red in the endoscope camera image, and as can be seen are very close to the ground truth uh, white crossfire points. We also conducted a simulation experiment to analyze the accuracy of our numerical methods independent of the user bias, noise in landmark localization algorithm, and kinematics chain. We sampled a few data points in the truss and uh, robot-based coordinate systems, added Gaussian noise to these points, and estimated the transformation using the methods described before. Similarly, we sampled the data points in the endoscope and camera image coordinate frames and estimated the camera projection matrix using the optimization scheme described before. We used a different set of approximately 480 corresponding truss and camera image points to calculate the overall reprojection error. The truss points were transformed to the camera image and the reprojection error was calculated. 
The process was repeated for 100 times and we report the average reprojection error. Results. For the water bath, overall mean reprojection error came out to be approximately 26 pixels. And the overall registration error from 3D thrust point to the 3D camera coordinate beam came out to be four millimeters. For the simulation experiment, overall mean reprojection, uh, reprojection error came out to be approximately 12 pixels. As can be seen here, uh, there is a difference between the real and simulation experiments. Our intuition is that the primary source of this error is, is the real setup um, where we manually selected the thrust points. And this could be because the instrument tip traverses many thrust planes. This will be investigated further. In conclusion, we presented a single step joint camera and hand-eye calibration method. This method is markerless and real time and can be re-estimated after focus change under 30 seconds. We demonstrated it through an experiment. Uh, our complete interoperative augmented reality system requires two calibrations. And these calibrations don't need any external markers and can be performed in less than one minute overall. We also uh, did an overall system evaluation through real and simulated experiments. Overall mean reprojection error came out to be 26 pixels and overall mean uh, overall registration error came out to be four millimeters. In future, the system will be tested in a human surgery depending on the current COVID situation. In the end, I would like to thank all our collaborators and thanks for your attention. Looking forward to have your questions at the main conference. Thank you.